Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50ps we're hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value but ideally missing ones from the book. We're making good progress though, we still need the Kew Gardens of course, that is the ultimate holy grail of UK coin hunting, would be a very exciting coin to find. We need Olympics Equestrian, Global Hockey Rowing and Triathlon to finish our Olympics set, otherwise we're pretty much there. We've got all the other more recent commemoratives up to and including the Coronation 50p with two Atlantic Salmons for 2023, the new definitives under our belt as well. So let's get into these bags and see what we find. Right, we have got bagged bags again, which I've been talking a lot about recently because I've been having lots of bagged bags recently. These have all been sellotaped as well, which is uh, mildly infuriating. Let's see if we can carefully cut them open without putting a hole in the bag. And we will start. Hopefully these aren't coins that have all been pre-hunted by someone else and had all the goodness stripped out. Um, also a very shiny 2020 there, which might be something exciting. Right, key dates to look for on the shield. You want the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 2021, which are the non-circulating years. Um, and 2017, of course, is the low-minted circulating year to keep your eyes peeled for. Our first commemorative is the Victoria Cross, the medals. Now, that's a fairly common coin, but in 2019, to celebrate 50 years of the 50p, these 10 designs, including Victoria Cross, the medals, were restruck for collector sets only and not put into circulation. So if you find any of those 10 coins, do check the date on the obverse, the head side of the coin. That is dated 2006, which means it's an original circulating version of this coin. The restrikes are stand out because they were all minted in 2019, reusing those old designs. Oh, and before technologies, obviously, Britannia was the definitive design. The key there, and that's 2008. There's the very shiny 2021. Oh, it's 2020 Shield. Okay. I thought it might be a, a, um, a commemorative coin, but uh, no. Um, there's Christopher Einside. Another fairly common coin, but because we share a name, myself and Christopher Einside, uh, I've decided a long time ago that I keep all my Christopher Einsides because that seemed like a sensible thing to do. But now I have lots of them, but don't want to stop. So anyway, um, representation of the people out there. It's a nice design, but again, one you will see plenty of out in circulation. Right, first bag down. What we're going to do now is speed up until we find some more. Well, there we go, Dictionary. That's a very common commemorative coin. Oh, there we go, we've got Pride. Again, the mintage figure of that was five million, wasn't it? So, not the, the rarest of coins, but, ooh, this could be good. I see, it's when we find things like this, it settles my nerves. It makes me think, okay, these, this has definitely not been hunted through because it's 2011 dated, whatever that is. So surely a coin collector would keep that. Let's see what it's going to be. Ooh, it's fencing. Fencing, was that one we needed? That might be one we need. Very, very nice. That is one. I think, it's, I think there's five Olympics we've got left to go. Uh, we're getting down to the point where I should be able to remember which of the Olympics I still need to fill the book, but... Uh, but not quite there yet, my poor memory.
Another representation of the people like there. And another representation of the people like there. Oh, we've got Sherlock Holmes as well. Lovely design, but again, a fairly common one. Now, Jeremy Fisher, speaking of common coins, the whole 2017 Beatrix Potter run are very, very common. No Benjamin Bunnies yet, surprisingly, though. Oh, Roger Bannister, could this be a restrike? I know. We'll keep hunting for one of those restrikes. Another representation of the people act. My goodness, three of them. Four of them, even. I can't count. What a Christopher. University of Britain there. Another common coin, but uh, we haven't had it today, so it does add value to the um, add, add variety. I was I was uh, confused about how shiny this one was. I thought it might be something, but no, I think it's just uh, one that hasn't seen much action in circulation. Momentary, uh, moment of excitement. There's another diversity of Britain, keeping us getting us back on track. Right, carry on. There's uh, Christopher inside. Lovely stuff. And there's our first Paddington. Paddington at the Tower. Very cool. All four Paddingtons, though, that were put into circulation are very, very common coins. We've got a dictionary there. And then Victoria Cross, heroic act. Could this be a restrike? Uh, no, sadly not. Oh, there's scouts. I think I saw the date. I don't think that's going to be a restrike. Sadly not, but we'll keep hunting for one. Oh, Peter Rabbit from 2017. Very, very common, but I guess there's one step close to completing the whole 2017 Beatrix Potter set in a video, which is always a nice thing to do. Oh, there's our first King Charles of the Hunt. What are you going to be? Coronation 50p. So, Coronation 50p's check the obverse because there's a non-circulating version of this coin. Uh, this is how it should appear for the circulating version. Uncrowned portrait of the king. The one that was just made for collector sets. You will see the king wearing a crown which will make for a very cool find. Now, final mintages for that coin haven't been released. Although the indicative figure was 5 million. So, we'll pop it on that bottom row. Um, well, not the bottom row, but that unknown row. Right, King Charles again, uncrowned portrait for the Coronation 50p, but uh, behind the king is a very lovely little mouse. The Tailor of Gloucester. Uh, any 2018 Beatrix Potter coin is always going to be an exciting coin for sure. Lovely, lovely stuff. And then we also have the Memorial 50p, which is a, it's a very common coin, but it was the first circulating coin with the new portrait of King Charles on it, uh, which is a, makes it a very interesting coin numismatically. So again, 
an interesting piece of history for sure. Oh, that's a weird sounding one. Is it this one or is it the one below? Right, let's just test. Yeah, it's that one there. One of those weird tinny sounding coins. Um, I don't think there's any value to them. I just think they're kind of interesting curiosities to have. There's a Roger Bannister. Will it be a restrike? No, of course not. But one of these times it will be, and that'd be very, very exciting. And there's NHS. And that's one that's a smidge over face value. Don't see it all that often. Lovely stuff. Another Coronation 50p? Come on, Crown Portraits! Oh dear, no. It's still an exciting coin to find, I still think. Finding the King on coins. Uh, the, the excitement of that being so different from what we're so used to hasn't quite rubbed off yet. We start this back off with a diversity for Britain. And there's another one again. Oh, there we go. Right, let's get these out of the way. And then we could kind of tend to Senior Bunny. Right, Benjamin Bunny is the most common circulating commemorative 50p out there. You'll find tons of these, but when you do, check for the edge for the rotation <laughs> error, not the edge description error. So you can see the queen is facing the right direction. Unfortunately, not the uh, rotation error, which would make for a very cool find. Uh, who are we missing? Tom Kitten, Crazy Eyes himself. We've only got two bags left, so we might complete the set. We might not. And we've got diversity but Britain there. Very nice. Oh, it's a 2017 Beatrix Potter, but it's not the Tom Kitten we need for the set. Will there be a rotation error though? Oh dear. Sadly not. Just a normal Benjamin Buddy. Right then, last bag of the hunt. It's amazing how much extra time just cutting these the odd bag open has added to the uh, recording time of this. Obviously it won't, it probably won't have too much an impact on the actual video because most of that business will sped up anyhow, but uh, I, I am definitely about five minutes longer than uh, it would usually take. Anyway, <laughs> that's very boring to most viewers, I think. Um, what might be more exciting for you viewers is that down in the description is a link to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come along and join me and the other coin collectors on there. There's also links to my other social media channels, my PO Box address if you want to write into me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube YouTube channel, the company I work for is my day job, so please do check them out as well. I'm just going to whisper the coins off to the side now and see if there's any key dates that I've missed. Okay then, unfortunately no key dates out of all those coins, which is a real shame. Normally pick up one or two, but uh, no luck today. Nothing new for the book either, that fencing unfortunately is one we already have in the book. In terms of our star finds, I have a big Olympic bias, so I'm giving it to fencing, even though it is one we already have for the book. Uh, it's always exciting finding those 2011 dated coins, very special. Anyway, let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video has been, and all it leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!